there everyone it's Maria with Angelfish Design and I have a quick video today to share with you my very first flip book I was really excited to discover these little guys um, they're so fun to make quick and a fantastic stash buster everything I used in this book was from my stash it's all scraps little bits and bobs of everything using stuff up that's what i'm planning to do this year so what i have here is a little plastic that's holding it all together got a piece that flips out here and then this side flips out here this back piece here was an envelope from a christmas card that i had uh, on my desk with all my things so I went ahead and started my flip book with that using washi tape to attach the two sides some cardstock and some various other cardstocks and scraps of paper on the front I had used uh, these are little vellum squares that uh, had this metallic silver finish on them. Had them for years, decided to finally use them. Some rub-ons, say snowflake. This was from a piece of scrapbook paper. Uh, the whole thing said let it snow all over it, so I cut one little piece from a scrap that I had. Used a little banner. I got lots of ribbons in here, because I just love foo-foo-y ribbons. Put some confetti sequins on two of the ends, got a little bow there, and some, I put these little pearl beads on the ends where the elastic is. And then on the back, it actually had my name on it underneath here, so I covered that up. I made a little pocket and a belly band with a little doily in there that someone can use. Some more of those rub-ons using up that package if you saw me on instagram i had a package of rub-ons some winter themed rub-ons from 2003 in my stash so i am planning to finish that package off tonight inside the little pocket i have some tags again everything was just stuff from my stash more of those rub-ons some scraps of cardstock, scraps of pattern paper, a little um, vintage image that I had printed out, a whole strip of them uh, a while ago for another project I was doing several years ago. So I used them a couple of times in this project. And this is some embossed stationery. I actually just bought a package of that this year, um, I think at TJ Maxx. Okay, so we go back to the inside. On this side, I've made several, like a waterfall of little pockets. They were all strips of scrap um, pattern paper that I had. So I went ahead and put a scalloped edge on each of those with the scissors and uh, added a stamp that I had done. This is um, from Lawn Fawn. Uh, the I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's the one with the llama, or no, the alpaca. Um, and it says, baby, it's cold outside. And then the alpaca is wearing a scarf and it says, alpaca my scarf. And that was just funny, so I had to have that stamp set. But that's from that stamp set. I digress. Um, a little tag that I had received in a swap uh, many, many years ago. And some little clear snowflakes. Another little tag that I made from scraps. Another little sequin snowflake, a big one. And another one of those little pictures. And then in the middle, I let the shape of the envelope um, determined of what I was going to, uh, how I was going to place my pockets. These are actually pockets as well, little little um, tuck spots there and there, but I ended up not putting anything in them because when I did, it covered up 
the things that were inside the big pocket and I didn't like that so I didn't put anything in those and just put stuff in the little pockets and got some washi tape and some little fibers this was cut out from that same paper and a little this was a gift tag that I bought at Target this year a little snowman die cut a little stamp tag I believe this stamp had been uh, stampin up and someone had made that for me a while ago this isn't a, the snowman isn't a die from a current die I so I'm sorry I don't know where that is from but I had it in my stash and then I used a little glassine bag I cut it in half and uh, put washi tape to seal up the one side put a little sticker there and then filled it with more of those little sequin snowflakes And then over on this side, I have this little image there that was from some scrapbook. They were It was a sheet that came with all different images. In fact, this was from that same sheet. Um, those were pretty popular like 15 years ago. Uh, I still had that in my stash. Again, another one of those little snowflakes. And then I just did a bunch of little tags out of some scrap paper, punched a hole in it. I just used a, a scalloped corner edger, corner rounder, to go ahead and, and do that decoratively on the corners. I'm gonna pull those out of that little pocket because these are little ATC size sheets in the little uh, clip there and then underneath. Is a little decoration there with those girls again so that way it's nice and decorated still if someone decides to use up those sheets of paper I thought these would be really really fun when you receive them or even if you just want to make it for yourself as a little um, mini album of sorts or a little mini journal or you know, maybe you have a, a day where you go out with the family or something and it was a special day and you'd like to just do a little mini something to celebrate that day. That could be, you know, something you use for that. And that would be a lot of fun. Tuck little pictures everywhere or ticket stubs or, you know, whatever, receipts or menus, whatever you might have gotten from that day. So there you have it. And I hope you enjoyed that quick little share. I'm sure I will have plenty more and probably some process videos of those for you. And thanks for stopping by to share that with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.